Hello guys. Today I'm gonna be making some TikTok recipes that I saw on my for you page that looks really good. The first one is this Chipotle crunch wrap. I am so excited to try this. Um, looks pretty good if I do say so myself. I kind of messed up when I was putting the my leftover Chipotle because A, I put too much in it, and then B, um, I thought I was being smart by making the tortilla smaller because I thought it would fit better, but that was eh, don't do that. Um, but overall, it was pretty good. I only burned myself once. And it got really crispy at the... Hold on, let me show. It got so crispy at the bottom. It's, like, good. It basically just, like, tastes like what you would think it would taste like. Like, Chipotle, but with a crispy tortilla. It was good. Like, it's really good. But also, I didn't have, um chips so i put two pretzels in i haven't got to the pretzel part yet but i'll update you when i do oh i hear a pretzel right there i do not recommend putting in a pretzel because it gets soggy like oh it tastes stale like mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, that's not it Okay, so pretzel was a no-go, but overall, this was really good. Presentation, maybe like a three, but taste, amazing, 10 out of 10. Would do again if I had that much energy, but glad I made it. So Maya would go like four or five times and then she was... The next snack we're going to be making are apple nachos. I saw this on someone's what I eat in a day and I automatically wanted to try it. So I'm just gonna cut the apples into like really, really thin slices and then go from there. I have finished chopping the apples and now I'm going to transfer them onto this dirty looking plate but it's actually clean, trust me. Wow, and they're all on the plate. Now I'm going to be drizzling some almond butter onto it and putting some toppings. My almond butter is kind of like cold because it's been in the fridge and honestly I could warm it up but also I'm lazy and I think it should work with the consistency that it is now. Add some chocolate, mini semi-sweet chocolate. Oops. Oops. My house went down some coconut flakes. Here is the finished product. I know it looks beautiful. Yum, yum. Okay, 
Okay, taste test. I already know it's gonna be good because it's literally just like yummy stuff. It's apple and almond butter and chocolate and coconut. It tastes like what you would expect it to taste like. Honestly, this is pretty smart because you don't have to like dip, dip almond butter each time when you eat apples and almond butter. And also you get like a little more cute toppings. Um, so yeah, recommend, I would give this a solid 9.5 out of 10, and I highly recommend you actually warm up your almond butter if it's cold, so that way you can drizzle it instead of doing what I did, which is like globbing it. Bro, these are some healthy brownies. Banana and mash it. One fourth cup of oat, egg, whisk that together, then add that to your pan that you coat. And then you use 35 of Lily's dark chocolate chip. The first thing the video says to do is to preheat it to 350. So that's what I'm gonna do. I didn't have any fresh bananas, um, but I did have some frozen ones that I left on the counter for like 10, 15 minutes ish. And they look Pretty disgusting, but I mean, it's okay. We're gonna mess it up anyway, so. This is, I think maybe like one and a third. I'm not really sure how much this is, cause like I put in half of a banana yesterday and then like the browner ones were from before. So I'm kind of already straying away from the recipe a bit, but it's okay. Yum. Now I'm going to mash this. It's actually kind of difficult to do because the bananas are still pretty frozen. Um, and it does look pretty appalling right now, but it's okay because next I'm adding a fourth cup of oats. She doesn't say what specific oats she uses, um, but mine are old fashioned and they look a lot thicker than the ones she had. I guess I could have blended them and made it into more of like a flower, I guess. But in the video, she didn't do that, so I'm just gonna stick with my whole oats. One teaspoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of cocoa powder. Next goes in one egg and mix. Now I'm just taking a loaf tray with, um, spraying with some canola oil. Pouring it in. I put a little too much oil, so now it's kind of just pulling up on the sides. But now I'm just gonna sprinkle some mini chocolate chips. I know she said like 35, like, Lily's chocolate chips. Um, well, I don't really care, and I like chocolate, so I'm putting in however many I want, this many. And also my oven reached 350 a long time ago. Oops. Ah. ah. And now we wait. This has been the oven for about 25 minutes and now it's finally time to take it out. Fresh out of the oven, it does look pretty good, but it does look pretty oaty. Like, I see the chunks of oats. This has been cooling for a good, like, 15 minutes. And it does look a little bit dry, but I'm just going to cut a small piece. Okay, this is the lucky piece. This is what it looks like. I'll turn on the lights. This is what... The little thing looks like it kind of looks more of like yeah it doesn't really look like a brownie and then just like oats but okay this is my second piece but it just kind of tastes like nothing like it tastes like banana it tastes like banana oats honestly that's what it tastes like i don't really taste the chocolate aspect of it um, but this is definitely good. It's not very sweet at all because there's no added sweeteners in it except for the banana. And it kind of has like a hint of banana bread flavor. 
um just like the texture is very oatmeal-y um so i bet if you blended this it would taste more brownie like more cakey but this is like i don't know if you can see okay i bit that it's kind of gross but it's like it just it just looks like baked oatmeal which essentially is what it is so it's a very simple recipe and it tastes like what you would expect it to taste like um it definitely does not taste like a brownie that's for sure but it's still really good Yeah, um, it's kind of the first bite. It's like, wow, this tastes like banana. And then it's like, wow, I'm eating mush. But then you're like, oh, I taste banana again. But overall, it's good. If I were to make it again, definitely more of a chocolate flavor. And I would probably blend the oats to make oat flour first. And then maybe add a little extra sugar or maybe like almond butter or peanut butter or something to give it more flavor because this is just kind of like sad looking if i'm honest this makes about roughly 10 little brownie pieces like squares and this is in a eight by four inch so i mean i could probably eat the whole pan by myself if i'm being honest but i just had two right now funny story i ate two more but um, just another thing, I don't think this tastes like a brownie, so if you're making this in hopes of, like, a brownie, like, a healthier brownie, I guess it is a healthier brownie, but it isn't a brownie. Like, it does not taste anywhere like a brownie. Um, the closest thing to a brownie is its shape, and that's about it. So if you really want a brownie, I would say just eat it, but this is a really good treat on its own i just wouldn't consider it a brownie update i had half or like one more piece and that's half of the loaf and that's i think where i'm about to stop because i'm kind of getting sick of it thank you so much for watching the video and if you enjoyed please subscribe and maybe like and i'll see you in what i do next